How are you, sir? Hey, buddy. Good hey, man. Hey. You? I'm all right. First of all, happy birthday. Related by Thank Danny. you so much. I made it. Yeah, right? It's weird that a certain, year. Point, <laughs> a certain point you start going, oh, shit, I guess I could have not done this one. Like, people, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gone by now. It's weird. Oh, sure. Uh, you get into your 50s, you start going like, well, you know, let's see if we can get out of this decade. Yeah, I uh, I hit 35 last year, so I was like, oh, I'm what I used to consider an old man, and now I'm, yeah, like, things the, hurt. The, but... odd, the odds are still in your favor, brother. Well, eh, if only you knew. Uh, it's funny, uh, when we get into award season, that's a lot of what I what I cover, and I always like hearing when you start to watch the Oscar-y movies, because every so often you'll go, I didn't fucking get that one. Um, there's, and there's an honesty to it because you're like, I didn't hate it. Like, I'm probably yeah. wrong. Um, yeah, yeah. But there yeah, are a yeah. couple that I'm I'm eager to hear what you think of because they're they've got a very Jewy feel to them, and I felt very seen. Like, um, oh yeah, the the new James Gray movie has bagels and locks for brunch in a scene, and I never see that. And I was like, oh, oh shit, yeah, man. Uh, what's that movie called? Armageddon Time. Yeah, man, I saw that movie. Yeah, when, I, I liked it. Yeah, because I yeah, um, I because I talked to Jeremy uh, Strong uh, uh, in, in uh, about that movie. Yeah, yeah I like that movie, man. Yeah, and it, yeah, you would never know about the, about that stuff about Gray. You know no. that he comes from that. It was a very Jewy movie, very Jewy movie. I definitely felt seen. It was generationally different, but I I kind of liked that movie, man. Yeah, that one would be the Jewiest movie if not for Spielberg's movie, which is all about. I, I haven't seen that one. I it's really good. One. It's really, it really is? good. I mean, I think you'll like it because part of it is him growing up in, you know, the Southwest as like the only Jew. Yeah. Was he in Arizona? Uh, yeah, he was in Arizona and then he was in Southern California. I don't remember Southern or Northern California, but that's oddly where all the like anti-Semites. Well, look, Jews need to represent. This is our time. No, yeah. no time to hide, man. No time to hide. This is this is true. Uh, which is interesting because in in the movie you play you're, this one, a little bit different, not, than normal, but which is which is great. But also, one of my favorite things about seeing you in a movie is there's this reliable presence of like, here's a guy who's you know who's us just in general. Yeah. Like it right. feels like there's very few actors who you go. I feel like he brought a lunch pail to work and went Ugh, before he started, but not in like a shitty way. But yeah. in like yeah. I'm working and I'm doing a good yeah. job. And I love yeah. that about you. Yeah. Well, I mean, this one was definitely as one of the things that like, you know, became one of the reasons that I did it was really because, you know, Michael the Morris, the director, really wanted me to do it. I couldn't really understand why he wanted me to do it. Yeah. Um, because I thought maybe other people had turned it down. Cause when I read the script, I'm like, you know, I'm not the guy for this. But, you know, I've been turning down a lot of parts where it's just we need a cranky jewish you know funny guy cynical guy but you know big heart kind of thing and you know michael convinced me that because of what his experience watching Marin, that i i bring a sort of you know i bring myself to these parts and i can be very you know present and 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 make it see you know seem and be real and i also realize that you know if i want to continue acting i've got to take chances and you know if i'm turning down parts that typecast me you know, let's, let's just do it. Let's try this, yeah. you know, let, let's try it, you know, working alongside of, you know, the greatest actor of her generation. So, but I, I did it, you know, and I, and I feel okay about it. I feel like I did pretty good work. Oh yeah. No, it's great. I, it is funny that I do imagine you get a lot of the same roles offered because even just in the ones you say yes to, like you've been a music manager more than once, you know, you, you've been the guy to be like, all right, yeah. here's how we're going to yeah, make yeah. more famous. Like they right. yeah. see a very specific type of role. And which I think is, is, is kind of short selling you because I always feel like I see this like authenticity in you. Like, I don't feel like you ever fake it. I don't like, I don't know if that's like, Oh, I don't think you can fake it, but just, I always feel like you believe the part. And especially here, like, you know, you have your monologue about, you know, troubles that are relatable yeah. to you and that's yeah you know that yeah there's an there's an extra bit there because i feel like there's you know you're tapping into something there yeah i mean i can i i definitely have i can connect to more emotions than just you know like uh crankiness and stuff yeah. you know like even sam sylvia was you know not quite me because i don't think he was that self-reflective yeah. or 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 neurotic but this guy was really a humble dude 
you know, Sweeney is like, you know, a kind of a beaten man, you know, who's trying to rebuild and, you know, has seen his share of, 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 of real, you know, family distress and, and loss. So, yeah, I can definitely walk into that. But I like the idea that he wasn't an angry guy. He wasn't a neurotic guy. And, you know, and he was kind of splayed open by his own experience. And, 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 and I was living some of that at that time. And, and, you know, and he wanted to give this person a chance, you know, because he had a very small amount of power, but he had enough to, to, to try to help this person who he had, you know, unexplainable deep feelings for really at the beginning. Yeah, and it, and it shows. There's that bit of, okay, you found something in you and I'm seeing it. And that's a, you don't always see that, but when you see it, you really recognize it. I, I remember a couple of years ago, the, the Ben Affleck movie where he's the basketball coach and he's the alcoholic. Yeah. He, you know, he does that thing where he taps the beer can before he opens it every time. And you're like, that's really specific. And then you hear him go, yeah, I did that. <laughs> that was the thing that locked me into the character. And you go, oh shit, I like that so much more now when I know that. And I feel like I, I see- I just found it. Go ahead. Sorry, I, was just, I, just, ahead. I feel like it. I see that a lot in your roles. They're just like not a not a specific thing, but a like, okay, you see something that relates to you and it's it's right. just fueling the performance. Sure. Yeah. I mean, like the the emotional spectrum that this guy had is definitely something, you know, I'm I've experienced. I've experienced codependency, I've experienced addiction, I've experienced, you know, heartbreak, I've experienced loss. You know, I I've been down on my luck. Yeah. And and you, you know, but to 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 move through the eye of the those needles and 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 have some humility and grace, you know, I didn't always have that. Yeah. But this is that's where this guy was. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and, and so yeah, I was able to attach my emotions to the story of this guy. And yeah, and I I realized what you're talking about too. Like I heard I was watching that Paul Newman doc, you know that, and I just watched the verdict before watching the Paul Newman doc, and and it was, did you watch that doc? Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's great. It's kind of amazing because you know it's 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 not like some you know uh, uh, you know it, it's not pulling any punches. No, the guy, it, it almost feels like you it, should be watching it. You're like, this is it too does. Crazy. Yeah, I don't want to know this about. Yeah. But the fact that the verdict was only amazing because Lumet pushed him, and yeah. then he brought all this these weird the banaka and the eye drops and the fucking face in the ice yeah. water were all that stuff he did. Yeah, like you know. But to speak to that, you know, in like smoking, when Sam Sylvia smoked, you know, I was watching someone had posted some meme of me smoking. I'm like, yeah, because I smoked most of my life. Yeah. Uh, and then with Sweeney, it's it's really about that kind of heart, you know, that that letting go, you know, the heart, the exhaustion of heartbreak. Yeah, there's and it living a lot. I noticed there's just like a lot of like, OK, like that, like it, I'm about it, to get pissed. It, it, it's not worth it. Like there's there's right. a, almost like Zen this time, which is like I I've been pissed before. I don't need to be pissed. It took me a long time to learn that shit as a person. Still as working me. <laughs> Still yeah. working. Um, no, it, it, that but that's what I think is is so much fun to see you and things. Also, I think you know you spend so much time now talking to people, and they for one reason or another are more revealing than most when they talk to you. You get all these things from people that I'm sure you'd sit with you in one way or another. So if it if it clocks back to Oh, that sounds like when I talked to this person and they were oddly like bummed about this thing. Oh, I remember that. Like it all, you know, it's all the like being a human being element of it all. Well, that, well, that, that is it really. Like, I don't know how much I always clock, you know, my memory is not amazing because like with a lot of the conversations I have that, you know, my, my producer clocks everything because yeah. he's got to edit those things. But they, you know, they're like, once I have them, they're done. Yeah. Right. So like, I just have to use my memory, but he's listened to it over and over again. So if I need to remember something, I usually will call Brendan. I'm like, do you remember this for me? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, like Obama, you probably remember that one. I remember parts of it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I remember the moments of it. And I remember moments of like Paul McCartney. I remember moments. Yeah. But 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 I think the human thing is the, the most important thing is like, you know, you sit across from all these guys, you know, movie stars, presidents or whatever. And because of the nature of how I engage, you know, I definitely get a sense of their humanness. Yeah. And, and that's ultimately what you're trying to get, you know? Oh, yeah. I still, I try to do that here. Like, I, I know you've heard the same 12 questions. Like, I'd rather know, rather chat, rather bullshit and like get something that yeah. is more beneficial to even just us, even if no one else gives a shit. Like, you know. Yeah, well, we, we've people. learned that, uh, you know, that you have anger problems and yeah. that you're stifling, stifling some, you know, sort of 
you know, high risk, uh, you know, uh, mortality problem? Or no, it's, listen, it's depression. It's not anger. No. Oh, no. Uh, recently single. A uh, whole other thing. No. Oh, yeah. There's a the thing that as we sort of wrap up, like you got to play yourself, which is also kind of a, a, a unique thing to be like, I want to write a character. It's not me, but essentially is me. So like, I, I'm always curious when if you could choose to get a role, like if somebody was like, I want to write you a role, what do you want to play? You kind of already did that for yourself. But what if someone else came to you and was like, we want to cast you, but what do you what haven't you done yet? Is there a thing? Well, yeah, I mean, I haven't done a lot of things. I don't have I don't have an extensive, you know, resume with acting, you, you know, and playing myself was sort of a heightened thing. Yeah. It was a little weird in terms of like, you know, I don't know if that guy was essentially me. I think doing Sweeney was, you know, something more uh, interesting to me, you know, to to kind of like, you know, land in the condition uh, of emotions that I exist with on a day to day basis and whatever you know, uh, vulnerabilities and, and uh, possible empathy that I can engage is interesting to me, you, you know, because I don't have, I don't know that I have the fortitude to, to, to do that in my real life all the time in, in relationship. Yeah. So sadly, it would be to explore the things that I, I should be willing to do <laughs> in my real relationships, <laughs> you know, in fictional ones. Hey, listen, how many people can be like, pay me to go to therapy on screen? Like that's yeah, that's I guess. Real... But is it is it really therapy or is it really sort of like because like someone asked me about this character and you know in terms of you know what 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 did I take away from the movie is that you know I was in a tremendous amount of grief you know when we shot this movie yeah. and you know and 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 having to show up emotionally for as a character for for Leslie for Andrea's character sort of introduced me to like a, a weird well of a type of empathy I didn't really know I had and I'm not sure that I had it uh, before experiencing, you know, uh, Lynn's passing. Yeah. You know, there's something about, you know, grief that, you, you know, if, if it doesn't crush you, will we'll certainly open your heart to things that you, you may not have uh, knew you were capable of. So, so that, you know, that's ex interesting exploring that. Sure. And in the work, honestly, it, it speaks for itself. It's, it's incredibly empathetic and, and compelling and, and you should be, you should be very proud. I don't know if the cats are saying that they're proud of you, but I will. You know, everyone needs to hear it. So. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Uh, I'm proud of you too. You'll be all right. Ah, uh, thank you. I hope so. Uh, congratulations on this. I can't wait for more because it's always a pleasure to see you on screen. Thanks, buddy. Good talking to you. Likewise.